are you ready for your first bike ride? I think so. Go on then. <laughs> Maybe oh. not. Right, you're going to make it to the end of the road. <laughs> you are so much better at riding these oh than him. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be an entertaining video today. I don't know where we're going to end up, but uh, come with us. Good morning guys, we are all up and out on our bikes. We're about 15 to 20 minutes into our journey. My bum really hurts, I'd forgotten how much my bum really does hurt on them. Maybe it's just how Matt rides it, but Matt's dad's doing really well. We both, we both just keep checking our mirrors, like making sure he's still behind us. Um, but we are off today to see Lobot. We did do it last time and we absolutely loved it. Matt's dad loves rivers and things like that, so we're gonna go and check Lobot River out. We got a little bit later out today. The, the sky is very dark. So we were like, right, we'll just give it a bit, but we've had to go for it anyway. Okay. Hello. Another stop of petrol. You'll find coming along, so we've actually come off Panglao now onto Bahal. On the road on the way, you're going to find those petrol stations, so it should all be good. If not, thank you very much. Thank you. If not, um, there's loads of Sari Sari stores there, and it's much cooler you get it out of the Coke bottle. Um, Remember the time we actually thought that was Coke? We didn't realise mm -hmm. it was actually gas. But um, it shouldn't take too long to Lobot. I think we'll get to Lobot. We don't want to go too far on this first time. If not, pull up somewhere close, find a couple of cool spots and then head back and check some spots out on the hang out. And we have made it, wow, my hair is flat. From the helmet to Lobok, just in time. We've come into Lobok River Resort. We didn't come in here last time, and it looks amazing, and it was raining, so we thought we'd run in here. They've got a nice looking restaurant, you can rent paddle boards. They've got like jungle walks. I need a drink. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. This place is unbelievable. I totally didn't even know this existed. It's like a massive resort on the Lobok River. It's got the hanging bridge there and they obviously do, was it paddle boarding that we Paddle boarding or boat tour from here. It just looks really, really cool. Obviously, we can't do it in this weather. Um, so we're probably gonna have to sit here for a while. I've got a banana and coconut milk shake. Oh, so good, so refreshing. And we actually were like five minutes further north, I think, in the restaurant we went last time. But that was just a restaurant, it's a full resort, and there's like activities to do here. So I'd say it's a good stop on your way, especially if it's raining. Breaks up the journey, and your bum doesn't hurt as much. good in here. I've had to get a second. I went for a mango first. Alright, it's so good. Got a buco shake. Mm. And more good news. The rain stopped. I spoke too soon. Evans have opened again. But the food menu in here is incredible. I can't believe this place is actually a five-star resort and the prices are so cheap. We only paid 90 for each of the shakes. Normally Anywhere we go, it's like 150 to 200, and we've ordered some food. 
I've got like a spicy coconut curry, co vegetable, spicy vegetable coconut curry with rice, so did Molly. Uh, Dad got a sandwich, and each of them were like really cheap, but all under 200 pesos in a five star resort. I've never seen prices cheap. Um, don't know if there'll be any exploring though, we could be in here for the afternoon. This looks unreal. So, mine is a non spicy coconut vegetable curry. Is it still spicy rice. though? No, it's not. It tastes amazing. It's like so much flavour in it, which you never really think from just a coconut curry. Should I just pour this all on? I reckon so. All I never know how they get it in such a normal shape. Right. I'll just try a big bit. You ready? Mm hmm. Mm. Wow, it's hot. That is so good. And that is going to be spicy. Look at this chilli. That I'm taking that off. I I've never seen anything chili. like it. It's huge. That food was lovely and the rain got a bit heavier. Now it's got a little bit lighter. I hope the camera's going to be all right. We're going to try and run to the hanging bridge, check out the hanging bridge, run to the bike, get on the bike, put the camera equipment away, and drive back to Panglao. We've made it to the hanging bridge. We can't come out too much because obviously it is still raining pretty hard. Um, it's just to the left of the Lobok River Resort. There is a bamboo bridge, which is like one of the things to do here. Really Bahal, touristy. But it is so touristy and it's like, it's that way, right? Uh -huh. So this one's a lot less known. I quite like out. it. It's just locals crossing it it's to, not their, as, to their homes. It's not as rickety though, is it? Like I don't feel, I feel very safe up here. Way too rainy, but a cool little spot. Definitely go to that one rather than the bamboo hanging bridge because we had it to ourselves. Look at it, looks lovely. Um, but the rain's too bad. We've got to get back to Panglao. Camera's going away. Wish my dad luck <laughs> riding back in this rain. Right, we just made it back. The rain started just before we got to Panglao and because we were driving, it was hitting you in the face. It was so hard. It really, really hurt. But we made it back safely. Um, loved the Lobok River Resort. I've had to change my sunglasses because for some reason I think the rain must have battered them and all the like the mirroredness came off so I can't wear them anymore so I've got to put these ones on but Matt has gone for a haircut he's actually gone to a local shop this time uh, we're gonna see what that looks like but we're just going to go and feed our little doggies at our little beach I hope they're still there we've got lots of bread and milk for them Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello then. Oh, you're all sandy. Oh, you're so cute. And I am back from my haircut. I went to the localist of local Filipino barbers. None of this Bruno barbers. I went completely authentic. Uh, it was all locals and it's only 50 pesos for a haircut, which is ridiculous. Like 300 seemed cheap, but 50 seems even cheaper. We're heading into Blue Water now with my fresh haircut for the last day in, last night in Bahal. We are off to actually a new destination even for us tomorrow. So we're very, very excited to take you there. Um, but it's time for beer, and we're gonna head out and get some food. Yeah.